Addicted to bread and grains? Eat this instead. Aside from peanut M&Ms, I think bread is one of the most addictive foods on the planet. I get it. It's comfy, it's carby, it's delicious, and it's a fantastic way to get olive oil into your mouth. But it's also loaded in lectins. Yep, even if it's sourdough bread. Because while sourdough starters are fermented, more flour is added, and you know what wheat flour is loaded with. Lectins, of course. So even though it's delicious and free on the table at so many restaurants, it's worth steering clear of bread. But what do you do when you just crave bread, chips, or other grains like rice so hard that it feels like you're going to give in? Well, today I want to talk about a few alternatives to keep you on track, even through the worst cravings. And don't worry, we're going to get way beyond cauliflower rice here. Because I understand when a craving hits, it can be really hard to resist. You need just the right thing to get you through, starting with chips and crackers. Because sometimes there's nothing like a nice plate of cheese and crackers, or chips and dip. And the good news is, certain cheeses from Southern Europe are still on the menu, as are dips like guacamole. Now, you could slice jicama really thin and use that instead of chips or crackers. And the crunch is actually pretty satisfying. Here's some baked ones. Or you can make your own. I've got some cassava-based recipes in my books. But now that grain-free, lectin-free food is becoming more popular, you can also find chips made with cassava flour or coconut flour on most grocery store shelves, like these. The same goes for crackers. Brands like Jillian Bakery make fantastic cassava-based crackers that are great with cheese. There's also some great options with flaxseed, too. Google Flackers Crackers to learn more about one of the most popular brands out there. Of course, no matter which alternative you decide, if you're not making your own, make sure to read the ingredient list thoroughly. Yes, even if you've already bought that brand before, everyone changes their formula from time to time. So it's actually really important to stay vigilant. That way you, in your gut, can thoroughly enjoy a plate of cheese and crackers like this, no worries. But let's say your craving is a little simpler and you want a big bowl of rice, quinoa, or oatmeal. Well, when it comes to rice and other grains, you've got a few options. If you like the texture, then you should go for Miracle Rice. But I understand some people, the texture can be a little off-putting. That's where lectin-free grains like millet and sorghum come into play. You can cook them fluffy like rice or a little wetter like oatmeal. You can toss them in herbs for a bright and flavorful salad or bake them with veggies for a knockout stuffing. Or, if you've worked all the way through phases one and two of the plant paradox and you're on to phase three, go ahead and pressure cook yourself some basmati rice. Bonus points if you let it cool completely, then reheat it before serving. You'll get more resistant starch. But what do you do if you're craving breakfast grains like oatmeal, quinoa, granola, or cereal? Well, you can even season a bowl of millet with cinnamon, ginger, and unsweetened dried cranberries for an outstanding breakfast cereal. Or you could look for a lectin-free breakfast cereal like puff millet or coconut flakes. You can even get creative and make your own granola with a mix of nuts, coconut, maybe a little puff millet. Just make sure to use the right kind of sweetener. I suggest yacon syrup or a bit of monk fruit. Most commercially made granola is just way too sugary. And no matter what alternative you pick, remember, with resistant starches like these, moderation is a good thing. So even certain cereal alternatives should be used sparingly. When you have a craving, you can't resist. Now, there's one alternative carb you can eat to your heart's content, and it's a swap for noodles. I'm talking miracle noodles, of course. And that's where another one, people find the chewy texture to be a little funny if they're not used to it. That said, if you're a fan of rice noodle dishes like pad thai or fu, they're a pretty perfect swap in. But if you're looking for another one with more Italian pasta texture, try Capello's noodles. They're an almond flour noodle I find in the freezer section at Whole Foods. And they're also available on Amazon. 
Now, I'll give you a heads up. It's not the most affordable option on the market. But when you've got a craving for that spaghetti with meat sauce, or even just pasta with olive oil and garlic, it's got a perfect texture. So it's worth stashing a box or two in the freezer, just like I do. Just remember, if you're craving your pasta with a tomato-based sauce, make that sauce in a pressure cooker to knock out those lectins, or you're asking for trouble. But what do you do if you're looking for a slice of bread to sop up that extra sauce? Well, that brings me to my last set of carb swaps, everyone's favorite bread. And I'll be honest, this one's the trickiest because even gluten-free breads are made with lectin-rich ingredients like corn flour or brown rice flour. Again, Julian Bakery has some great bread alternatives. So if you see the brand on the shelves, check them out. Just make sure to read the labels first, just in case. You can also make something called cloud bread, either with avocado or organic cream cheese. It's easy to make, only takes three or four ingredients. It's in my new book and is great for sopping up sauce or dipping in soup. Another great option is making savory quick breads with almond flour, cassava flour, coconut flour. There are tons of simple recipes online. So, the next time a carb craving comes up and you can't beat it, don't worry. Just look for an alternative instead. I promise they're out there. And by giving in to your craving the healthy way, you can rest assured you'll be taking care of your gut buddies and your sanity. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you and my snacks.